A city councilor has an idea to get more people to ride the bus. Let them bring their dogs and cats along for the ride. As you can imagine, some people think it's an idea that could backfire. Here's News 13's Alex Goldsmith. Well, Kim, there would be a lot of restrictions if this were to get through city council, but if it does, people could start seeing a lot more animals on Albuquerque's public transit okay. system. Central in San Mateo is a big hub for ABQ ride, with plenty of riders waiting even in the middle of the day. Michael Madruga says it's not unusual to see a dog or two also catching a ride. They let the dogs on because they look like pet service aides, or they have a, they say they are. That's city policy. Service animals are allowed on board, normal pets are not. But a proposed pilot project introduced by city councilor Trudy Jones would change that. It would allow anyone to bring one dog or one cat on buses any time other than the morning and evening rush hour. One of the reasons it's being proposed, to help poor residents who rely on the bus get their pets to the vet. If that pilot project gets approved, dogs and cats wouldn't be roaming free. In fact, cats would have to be in a crate and dogs would either have to be in a crate or muzzled and leashed. It's uh, something that uh, we could absolutely work with. Rick DeReyes with ABQ Ride says the proposal gives drivers and riders clear guidelines for how pets need to be handled. Well, it codifies the ways that people can bring pets on buses and uh, keep them under control. But frequent customers like Madruga aren't so sure. I haven't seen an incident yet, but you open up the gates like that and something's going to happen. Now another concern we heard, fellow riders with pet allergies. DeRea says that hasn't been a problem in the past, but if that changes, it's something ABQ Ride would keep in mind as it works on this policy going forward. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now the proposal is before a city council committee tonight. If approved, the experiment would run from July to the end of the year. The city then would decide if the policy should be permanent.